In this video, we're gonna learn how to expose Articles API. The one that I mentioned previously will be accessible only for users with valid JW token, regardless of whether they are admin or standard user. So as the first step, let's get back to IntelliJ. As the first thing, I would like to introduce a new class article, which will be a data class containing information about the dummy article. So firstly, let's click on our main package, new package, and introduce a new one called model. Following, let's click right mouse button, new, Kotlin class slash file, and scroll down a bit to data class and call it article. I would like this dummy class to have three fields, ID, title, and content. So let's start with val ID. I would like this to be of type UUID. Nextly, the title, val title. This will be string value. And lastly, the content, which will be string value again. So we can see that this class contains three fields simulating a real life scenario. And as the next step, let's implement article repository. So to do so, again, let's click on this main package, right mouse button new, and let's introduce repository package. Similarly, right mouse button new, Kotlin class slash file, and let's add article repository. As we are working with Spring, first thing we need to do will be annotating that with a component annotation, or to be more specific in our case, we will use the repository annotation here. This way we inform Spring that we would like this class to become a Spring Bean. Following, I would like to prepare a dummy list of articles. This will be an immutable list. Normally in real life scenarios, right here, you would connect to your database, Mongo, Postgre, or whatever other database storage you would like to use. But in order to focus on JWT tokens in this tutorial, I will show you simply in-memory database consisting from list. Again, if you would like to learn more about accessing different storages, then I highly encourage you to check out my other videos and blog posts where I show, for example, how to connect to MongoDB or PostgreSQL databases. Nevertheless, let's implement our list. So private val articles, and this will be list of, and right here we need to specify elements. So the first element will be article, article, and ID, I would like to specify some random UUID, but before I do that, Alt plus Enter, and let's import the class to our class. Let's get back, UUID, instead of the constructor, we can use the random UUID method. Title will be article one, and the content for testing purposes will be content one, two. Let's add colon, control plus D. This way we can duplicate lines in IntelliJ IDEA. And let's introduce second article, article two. UID again will be random UID. Lastly, I would like to add one more method, find all, which will simply return these articles. So fun, find all. The returning type will be list of article equals and it will simply return articles. Control Alt plus L. This way we format our code base. Following, let's introduce the next layer, the service layer, which will be injecting our repository and exposing a function, which then will be accessed in controller later. Let's click again here, new package and service. This time, similarly to follow our convention, I will call it article service, article service. Again, firstly, I must annotate that with component annotation and I'll use the service one. Following, I would like to inject our repository here. So private val article repository and IntelliJ suggests the correct repository class here. The only method I would like to implement here or function will be the find all, which will be invoking article repository. So fun find all. The returning type again will be list of articles equals, and this time we'll invoke article repository dot 
find all method, control alt plus L, wonderful. Again, this might seem like an over-engineering, but trust me, keeping a well-organized project from the very beginning will pay off in the future. With all of that done, let's implement the controller layer. So let's get back here, new package controller layer. Again, I'll add a new package article so it will be easier to distinguish between these different uh, APIs later for us. And the first thing I would like to introduce will be article response. So new coding class. Again, this will be a data class called article response. We will use later this class to map our model to the response so that it will be later serialized into JSON responses. This one will have the exact same field. So in order to make it easier, let's get back to article, copy and paste right here. Again, this might seem like an over-engineering, but this is a good practice to keep models and responses and request classes as a separate ones. With that done, let's add article controller right here. New coding class, and this will be a standard class called article controller. The first annotation we'll use here will be rest controller and the second one I will use request mapping so that all calls to slash API slash article will be handled by this class. So request mapping, mapping and as a string value let's provide slash API slash article. So whenever we hit our API to this URL Spring will know that it should search for a handler inside this class. Following let's inject our service. So private val service article service and let's inject the correct article service um, i would like to expose the get endpoints so let's use get mapping annotation and let's add a new method called list all fun list all and this one will return a list of article response okay so in the next line let's call article service article service dot find all. We can see that IntelliJ is complaining about the type because our article service method returns the article, not article response. So what I would like to do here will be call the map function it to response. So following, we must introduce the extension function for our model class private fun article dot to response and this function will return article response equals let's instantiate new article the id will be equals to this id um, title equals this title and content equals this content Again, control alt plus L to format the code. And I believe, this is my humble opinion, extension functions are really clean way to map between different types in Kotlin. So with that done, we would like to test this API. As the first thing, let's run the application. Let's see if it compiles and everything is working fine. Wonderful, we can again see that the app is running at port 8080. So as the next step, let's open up your favorite tool. I will be using Postman to query our API. You can use Insomnia, Curl, or whatever you find is best for you. The first thing I would like to do will be adding new collection. You can do it right here. Click new collection. And I would like to call it JWT, for example. Excellent. Now let's close this window. Click again on our collection right mouse button or you can use this link add request and i would like to call it get articles wonderful control plus s now i would like to call localhost so http slash slash localhost 8080 slash api slash article and let's hit send wonderful 
we can clearly see that everything is working as expected and we get our two articles when I hit send. Once again, we'll see that the identifiers are constant. And basically that's all for this video in which we learned how to expose our first API, which again will be accessible later only for users with valid JWT token. And I invite you to the next video in which we'll learn how to expose user API.